You know, and I got to tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship, I finally figured out how they argued. I'm going to tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right? If they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe you don't get along with your dad. And in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. Totally designed. This desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt what it is and cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument now it's not about that well that's no reason to call me a cunt and then that's it you're in this room now right <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old you know grows old alone has like that basement apartment just screaming up at the younger couple turn it down that isn't music so I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just going to grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere. Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? All right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? Yes, lean on the ropes, let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> oh, so I've learned. I finally learned to, like, keep my cool in my relationship. Happened a couple years ago, right? Me and my girl had this big argument one day, right? Actually, you, you guys want to hear a story? You want to hear the, about the time my girl punched me in the face yeah. on her birthday? You want to hear that one? Yeah. This is what happened. To be, <laughs> if I'm really honest, the fight started like three months earlier. It's like the middle of March. We're just driving around. You know, since she sees this closing store, she's like, oh my God, I didn't know they had one of those out here. We need to stop and go in there. So I, I fuck it, let's go in there. I walk in immediately, I see it's one of these stores that doesn't have any chairs. I know what they're trying to do. I'm going to be standing right next to her, and when she likes something, i got to buy it. I don't give a fuck. I'm not playing that. I go over and I sit down underneath a mannequin. Got like the dress hanging in my head. <laughs> Sir, you can't sit there. I don't give a fuck. Looks like I'm doing it. Looks like I'm doing it. All right? <laughs> so unbeknownst to me, she finds some sweater that she likes, right? Some ridiculously priced, like 400 bucks or some shit like that, right? So she knows it's not her birthday, none of that crap. She can't ask me for it. So now she's got to go into manipulation mode. What do I use? What do I use? Do I be sad? Do I pout? Do I use sex? Can't do that. You know what she went with? She went with the little girl. All right? She just came out. She's just like. I'm like, what's up? She's like, saw something that I liked. And I just want to be like, well, then why don't you fucking pay for it? <laughs> and she goes over and she shows it to me, right? And I'm like, it's 400 bucks. She goes, can you get it? I go, no, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. It's not your birthday. It's not Valentine's Day. It's March. I'm going to get you that for St. Patrick's Day. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. We're driving home and somehow she manipulated the, the argument. Not that she asked for the sweater and not that I said no. It was the way I said no, right? Got in this huge argument. Got so mad by the time I, we got to, back to the house, I just told her to get out. I'm driving away. So I just drove away in the Prius. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I was so fucked up about it, I had to call my, my sister up, right? Call her up to get a female perspective. She's laughing her ass off, going, you took all the bait, you're an idiot. I go, what do I do? 
She goes, well, why don't you go back down to the store and just buy the sweater? Hold on to it and give it to her a few months later for her birthday. And I'm like, fucking genius. <laughs> genius. I hate the pressure of the birthday. All her friends, so what are you getting her? What are you going to get her? Fucking sweater, bitch. Bam. That's it. <laughs> Got it. Right? Fast forward three months, it's her birthday, right? She's just, you know, I'm laying in bed. She wakes up. She wanted to go to some restaurant that night. She's like, did you make the reservations? I'm like, I haven't made them yet, but we'll, you know, we'll be good, right? She starts freaking out. What do you mean? It's my birthday. What do you mean you, make, you didn't make the reservations? I'm like, sweetheart, it's a Tuesday in the middle of a recession. I'm sure that there's, there's going to be a table, right? So she starts freaking out. In the back of my head, I'm like, I got this sweater. I'm good, right? So the more she yells at me, the funnier it becomes to me. But like an asshole, rather than laughing to myself, I sort of snickered out loud, right? <laughs> sort of giggled a couple times and she just snapped like, are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me on my birthday? And then the more she yelled, the more I laughed. The more I laughed, the more she yelled. And it was just this vicious fucking thing all the way up, right? To go, she got all the way to the point she was standing at the back door going, you're not laughing at me on my birthday? Fuck you! Boom! Slams the door. Dun, 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 runs down the stairs. At that point, I'm literally in the fetal position, like dying, laughing, walking towards the bathroom. Then all of a sudden, I hear, boop, 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 boop. she came back up the stairs. And I'm not going to lie to you, I got a little scared for half a second. <laughs> no, I did. I was in my underwear. I was feeling vulnerable. She comes flying into the bathroom. And the second I saw her face, I knew she was going to hit me. Right? And I'm such an asshole, I actually have a game plan for when a woman's going to hit you. Like, that's how many women I've pissed off in my lifetime. I actually know what's going down. This is how it is. Most women, they're flailers. All right, unless they had some sort of MMA training, then you're on your own. You're probably going to catch a few, right? <laughs> but most of them are flailers. Most are right-handed. So you got to guess overhand right. That's the first thing you got to guess. So you get down in the pocket, right? <laughs> that overhand right comes in. Bam, you catch that wrist. Second the right's coming, you know the left's coming. Bam, you catch that one. This is the crucial moment. Second you got the right, the next thing you got the left, immediately you got to step back and you got to go like this. <laughs> Because she's going to try to kick you right in the balls. As she kicks you, then you spin them around, tuck your head down low, because they will try to headbutt you. And then you just use the weight of your torso to slowly bring them down to the floor as you whisper sweet things. Oh, look at the tiles. Remember you picked those out? They go so well with the wallpaper, right? <laughs> but she tricked me. She came into the bathroom, just, she invented this new punch. She didn't throw a right, she didn't throw a left. She came, I think, this two-fisted, I called it like the defibrillator, right? <laughs> she caught me in the shoulder and like in my appendix, just a fucking wham, like that. Almost went flying back into the bathtub. And I caught myself, and she's all ready for me to take the bait and flip out, and I didn't. I just remained calm. I was just like, sweetheart, I think you need to go to work now. She didn't know what to do, she's like... <laughs> And she just, just walked out. All right? Went down to the car, drove to work. I walked out in the kitchen and got some Cheerios. Sat down and started watching Sports Center. <laughs> Fucking three minutes later, all of a sudden the phone rings. All right? Pick up the phone and I just hear her going, hi. <laughs> okay. Things got a little crazy. I'm like, a little crazy? You almost split my head open in the goddamn tub. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm passionate. I'm pa that's what they say when they start swinging. I'm passionate. I just have so much love for you. I try to cause you to have a seizure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm good at this. I fuck up my personal life all the time now. I really do.